Once we get to the point where our kids are understanding how to make a good tackle in the open field, the next thing that we need to add to the mix is block protection. We need to teach our kids how to take on a block, and get off a block, and then go initiate a good tackle. We've already talked about how to make that good tackle. Now I want to talk about some block protection drills. The first one is what I call the ball cut tackle drill. So many times in college football, offensive players are going to come and try to cut us uh, to keep us from getting to the football. The thing that we need to do is we need to give those kids some focal points to help them defeat that block. So when we go to this ball cut tackle drill, it's so important for our, for our players to understand to put their eyes on the ball. What we use is three medicine balls and three managers. As we go through this drill, the managers are actually going to throw the ball at our defender's legs and we are going to do a good job protecting our legs. Some of the coaching points. First and foremost, we need to put our eyes on the blocker or the ball in this drill. Number two, give some ground. It's okay to give some ground when you're protecting yourself from a block. You still want to take the block on whether it's a ball being thrown at your knees or whether it's a big old lineman coming at you. You need to protect yourself but you want to take it on but it's okay to give a little bit, little bit of ground to escape and get to the football. Coaching points also, protect your outside arm and leg. If a blocker is trying to get to you, he's taught to try to get across your body and get your outside leg cut and also uh, get your outside arm out of the mix. It's no different than what we teach our kids on a tackle drill. Get your head across. Go through the man's body. Well, that's what they're being taught too. So we need, so we need to understand that and protect ourselves. So once again, protect your outside arm and leg. And then the fourth thing is always finish with a good tackle. Just because we've added something to the mix doesn't mean that we don't play with great discipline and finish in the drill with a great side tackle. The defensive back will align at a point 15 to 20 yards away from the ball carrier. The ball carrier will just align here and wait for the defensive back to go through three phases. The manager as the, ball, as the defensive player comes through, we'll toss the ball at his legs as hard as he can. So we'll get one opportunity, we'll get two opportunities, and we'll get a third opportunity to protect the legs. The manager will throw that medicine ball at our legs. Once we clear all three of those, now the ball carrier will take off and we will come across his face and, and initiate a good strong side tackle. Let's go ahead and take a look at the ball cut tackle drill. Okay, good starting point here. The thing we're looking for is the defensive player to keep his feet moving while he takes on that, that cut tackle. Again, the ball simulates the, the cut and then finish with a good side or angle tackle on the top of the drill. Keep your feet moving, shoot your hands, run the feet. Again, make sure that ball is out in front of you. Keep your face out in front of your feet. There's good, there's good, good finish. Oh, he might have got cut on that first one. 